nice 1,000 rays from being a nerd? No! You monster. No, I'm not a monster. I'm smarter than you, chat. I'm smarter than any of you guys will ever be. Yeah. Is this the Riz lesson? <laughs> yes, chat. All of you should start taking notes right now. This is how you raise women right here. You gotta, you gotta put on your nerd glass. Yeah, um, actually? <laughs> how much aura do I lose for, at, for talking to my crush? the other day and I got so nervous. I <clears throat> I got so nervous, I just accidentally shit my pants in front of her. Like I just absolutely <laughs> in front of her. I'm sorry. But chat, today ev everyone's getting a lesson in how how to how to how to get right? Punky, you know chat can't get it. They can. They can. I they can get it if I teach them, okay, chat? They can get it if I teach them, okay? Uh, you guys, you guys will, will be, will be real, real fucking players after today's stream. I swear. Swear to God, you guys will be real fucking players after today's stream, okay? Charmous for chair. Chat, this is Panky's guide to rizzing, okay? For the sake of this, I'm gonna put chat up here. We're gonna put chat up here. We're gonna put my little fox man over here. Okay, chat. Panky oil up now. This is Panky's guide to rizzing. You guys can see here. This is a step-by-step -step guide. Let me move myself here for a bit. Hold on. This is a step-by-step -step guide on what to do and what not to do in order to get Riz, okay? Chat, lock in. Th this is gonna be some real shit. Will the slides be uploaded online? No, if you miss class today, then you will get an automatic fail in Riz class, okay, chat? You will get an automatic failure. Got it? All right, chat, we're gonna start here, okay? Very important. We're gonna start off with what not to do, okay, chat? We're going to start off with what not to do when trying to raise up people, okay? Very important to know what you shouldn't be doing, okay? Step one, do not send them unsolicited pictures of your penis or other sexual body parts for that matter. Okay, so uh, this is a real DM that I got on Twitter the other day. Somebody just sent me a picture of his cock, right? And okay, here's the thing, right? Okay, here's the thing, right? <laughs> I get a lot of these, okay? And I'm telling you, it's not gonna work. Chat, I'm telling you, we wanna see, we wanna, I know, I'm good. Ain't no way Pinky getting dick pics straight up docks them. You think I care? They sent me a picture of their penis without asking. I can dox them all I want. Average grinder experience. Okay. Unless you're on something like fucking grinder, this is not the move, right? This is not the move. I'm telling you, chat, as someone who gets a, sent a lot of dick pics and uh, I've actually, okay. Chad doesn't believe me. I've actually had a lot of girls just send me pictures of their boobs. Just like like unsolicited pictures of their boobs. Not, not like not like AI or like or like spam bots or what they're trying to scam you. Just like straight up like girls just sending me pictures of their boobs, right? I've actually had a little bit more girls send me pictures of their boobs in DMs rather than men sending me dicks in their DMs. Don't know why that happens. But uh uh, they're not bots. They're like actual like people <laughs> Like Peggy sex boys don't count. What the fuck? <laughs> Cap I don't have those screenshots because uh, they happened on the other two Twitter accounts I had where I got banned But I had a lot of them <laughs> on there <laughs> 
Same for me in Discord. How do you even know these boobs belong to women? I, well, I mean, they're boobs. So like women or trans women, I mean, either way, they're, they're, they're boobs in my face. Were, are, were you trying to flex or something? No, I, no, okay. No, I'm not trying to flex, right? All I'm saying is that like, here's the thing, right? If you're trying to raise someone, starting off a conversation with a picture of your cock and balls isn't gonna work, right? Okay, maybe, maybe you're thinking to yourself, okay, I got a nice penis, right? You know, my schlong's kind of big, right? I got, I got, I got, I got a massive fucking pee pee down there, right? It doesn't matter. Like, no matter how hard you try, 99% of dick pics are gonna look ugly, right? I'm just gonna say it. 99% of dick pics are gonna look ugly. That's just how it is. And I, I'm sorry, but that's the, like, like, like I get, I get pictures of people's penises that are like, they're not shaved. Their cock looks like it's greasy. Like it's like, it's been like genuinely unwashed for weeks, right? Um, and it's like, they, they have an awful camera angle where their room was off, the lights were turned off and they just used the flash on their camera for light. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, you're gonna send me a picture of your penis unsolicited, by the way, randomly, and you're not even gonna put effort into making it look good? If you're gonna send me a picture of your schlong, at least make it look good. Don't use the flash on your camera as the only light source and make sure to shave. But you're just gonna send me it raw? You're just gonna raw dog the picture with nothing to make it look nice? All right, tip number two, okay, chat? Tip number two, very important. Do not start off DMs like this either, okay? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move around, right? But these are actual DMs that I have, uh, by the way. Uh, so we're gonna start off here, right? So down here, uh, uh, so, uh, we have some DMs here. I'm gonna read them for you. Well, um, I came to you and now I'm just sad because I could have did it to my girlfriend's dudes, but I, but I didn't. Well, see you in a couple of hours for round two. Okay. Uh, interesting start, uh, saying, this person saying that he, uh, masturbated and nutted to me and said that he could have done it to his girlfriend, but he chose not to. And he said, I'm going to see you again in round two to do it again. So, uh, automatic failure for that. Now, I appreciate the Riz on this one a little bit more. Uh, please, 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 you know, that's... You know, uh, you know, I, I appreciate it. It comes off as a little, little desperate, right? And then he continues to do the quadruple text. He doesn't do the double text. He doesn't do the triple text. He does the quadruple text to get my attention, right? And he says, go duo. What are your goals and aspirations? Hey there, beautiful, rotting all by yourself. Now, if he started with one of these bottom two, that would have been a little bit better, right? That would have, you know, we could have had something there, right? But by starting off by saying, please, please, please. And then on top of the fact that it's a quadruple text, dude, that's an automatic failure, dude. What the hell are you doing? But don't, don't, do not. If they don't reply to you after this, after, very importantly, after you already talked to them, right? Very important, right? This one is just a little weird, right? By starting off saying, hey, cutie, with two Ys in the hey, and, the, and then a kissy face, dude, that's too much. That's way too much. And then uh, uh, on top of the fact, his bio, not safe work account, minors do not interact. Okay, fair enough. Kinky gamer dom, single. You're just advertising that you're a virgin loser, buddy. I'm sorry. You're just advertising that, that you got no bitches. And no wonder why you got no bitches. You're starting off DMs by saying, hey, cutie, with a kissy emoji. It's very important that you don't start off DMs like this. Like, whether it be like the, like the, like these over here. Where the, this one over here is just fucking weird, right? Like, if you want me, like, don't, don't, 
don't have your first message telling your crush that you fucking masturbated to them instead of your own partner. That's gonna be, that's gonna be like, well, I, well, even if they like the idea that you're masturbating to them, maybe they don't like the idea that you're already committed to someone. You're like, well, you're already committed to someone. I don't wanna, I don't wanna engage with you. You're already taken for. I don't wanna deal with that. That's a lot of baggage to deal with, right? So, uh, that's too much, right? And then these over here, these ones, these, uh, th these two right here, these are just too strong of a start. Like, hey, like, whoa, slow your roll down, buddy. Cutie, whoa, okay, can I eat it? You, whoa, that's, that's too much to just start off with, like, right off the bat. These ones are just basic. This one is just like, dude, quadruple text, you're fucked. You're never, you're never getting anything if you, if you got that. If you gotta send them the quadruple text, you're fucking cooked, dude. Never. But do not start like this. Now, okay, we're gonna be moving on to tip number three, okay? This one's also really important. Just like everything else in here is very important. So, all right, I will, I will tell you guys, these will be on the, these will be on the test later, okay? Make sure you are taking notes. All right, tip number three. If you get in the DMs, do not spam them. I'm telling you, do not spam them. Don't. If you somehow manage to get in their DMs, don't over, don't, don't, don't do your role. Don't overdo your role, okay? It's too much. Now, these are real examples from my own DMs. A lot, there's a lot of real examples from my own DMs in this, in this thing, right? Where, uh, right here, as you see, 625 morning, 626 morning, 627 morning, 629 morning, 809, quack, 922, hey, we got 1125, hoy, 1126, boop, 1130, hi, hi, 1208, hoy, 415, hey, yo, what is this? What are you doing? All right, tip number four. Do not ask them weird fucking questions randomly out of the blue. So this is in the context of, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is in the context that, uh, you know, maybe, you know, you're already in their DMs, right? And then suddenly one day without, without a question, they say, would it be okay if I send you a, a pic of my cock and you rate it for me? One day, randomly, no context, no lube, no nothing. The, and the, there's a lot of other things to say here, right? So like a lot of people don't understand, like a lot of people are terminally online, right? That's just how it is, right? A lot of people that, that are in my that are in my server or watching the stream, let's just be honest with yourselves. Let's be honest, okay guys? We're terminally online, right? You guys have barely interacted with real people in your life, right? And you guys don't know how to act in real situations with real people. But real people in real situations, if you're talking to someone face to face, you wouldn't just ask them weird fucking questions out of the blue. Like, would you suck my dick if we were in a room together? Would it be okay if I pull out my cock and balls and you tell me on a scale of one to 10 how good it is, right? Uh, would it be okay if uh if i it, it would it be okay if uh if if i can see a picture of, of 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 your of your asshole guys what the fuck this is really important this is really fucking important people on discord don't know how to just act normal in conversations you don't ask weird out of pocket shit like this randomly to real people and guess what if you're trying to get the attention of somebody this is not the way tip number five okay do not go into their twitch chat and say you want to fucking cuddle them or give them head pats now this only applies if the person you're trying to raise streams okay this only applies if the person you're trying to raise streams, okay? So you guys can kind of disregard this point if uh, if uh, the person you're trying to raise doesn't stream, but this is pretty important. I, you guys know how many fucking chatters I've had come to my chat and they say shit like this. Does the cutie need a cuddle? You're so cute, I wanna kiss you so bad. 
can we can i please hold you tonight can i can you can can you please give me a kiss can you please tell me that you love me what the fuck kind of riz is this you know what this is this is desperate riz you're going into into a streamer's chat technically while they're working and you're begging them to like give you affection or you're or you're trying to flirt with them in their own chat what the fuck what the fuck do not riz me in my chat that's fucking cringe for you and for me ah i hate that all right chat tip number six okay do not love my man this is important Dude, but love bombing is like, so it's like you just met, right? You're not dating, you're not anything, or you guys just met or whatever, and you randomly send them a bomb of affection, right? Where it's like, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, you're the best, you're, you're so amazing, oh, uh, like, you're you're the best, and I love you, and it's like, oh, uh, like, I love you so much, you're, you're like the best, like, person ever I ever started to, it's like, whoa, holy shit, like, a lot of people think this is Riz. This is not Riz. This is fucking creepy. And it's like, this is like attachment, right? Like if, if you do this to someone, like they're gonna, like one, you have attachment issues. Two, they're gonna see that you have attachment issues and they're not gonna wanna fuck with that, right? Unless they're also mentally ill and they like that, right? Love bombing is a big issue, right? Where it's like, if randomly you just send people like these like massive fucking like paragraphs of messages about how much you love someone and how much you care about them after only knowing them for like so long it's like if you if, like if you're if you get drunk one night and you send one of your best friends of like four years like a big fucking long test text message about how much you care about them that's one thing right but like you met them a week ago and you're saying that you love them bro what are you doing what all right tip number seven now this is the last of the don't do tips so we're gonna we're gonna see here okay do not be a gooner in front of them until you know if they are chill with that this is this is the most important this is the most important this is the most important thing. Don't be a fucking gooner. Don't be a coomer. Shut! Do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is another thing a lot of people don't know how to fucking do is just not be a fucking gooner to the people that you like. Like, Okay, there's a difference. Like, me and Soma, we just casually send porn to each other, right? That's whatever. Who cares, right? We're, 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 ju we're just, we're, but like, okay, one, I'm not trying to riz up Soma. First of all, sorry, Soma. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if this, if, if this is your first time finding this out. I'm not trying to riz you up, okay? I don't see you like that, okay? I'm not trying to riz you up. So, uh, so I don't care, right? <laughs> But if you go to your crush and you're just horny constantly and you're never not horny, they're either even if you like them, like genuinely like them, they're just going to see you as someone who just see who just wants them for sex. And maybe you do just want them for sex because you're horny and lonely and you don't got no fucking bitches. So maybe you do just want them for sex and they're going to see that you just want them for sex and then they're not going to fucking like you. And the amount of times that I've the, the amount of fucking gooners that I had that I've had text me is fucking insane. Like these people who just like think it's like, OK, chat. OK, I'll admit, I'll admit it. Right. I release my own R34. Right. I have a fans lead. Right. It's whatever. I post my own porn on there. It's whatever. Right. And I'm pretty lewd on stream. But chat, I want you to know that if you text me, with with an intention of raising me chat i'm gonna tell you this right now okay uh i'm not gonna like you because i'm not always a gooner i'm just gonna say it i'm i'm 
I, I'm not always a gooner. But if you come into my 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 chat, my DMs, my streams, or whatever, and you just assume that I'm always a gooner 100% of the time, and all you ever want to talk about is just gooner activities, like how horny you are, or how hot something is, or how fucking like how 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 how, how much you want to uh, have sex with me, or whatever. Guess what? I'm not gonna fucking like that, right? Sometimes I just want to lore dump about League of Legends, right? Sometimes I want to go on an autistic hyperfixation fucking rant about how much I love gambling, right? Sometimes I don't want to always fucking masturbate or be horny. Sometimes I want to be happy, not horny, right? And if you do this to another person, you're an awful fucking person. Don't always be fucking horny to people, dude. Treat them like people. Treat them like you would. Just treat them like a homie, right? Like, honestly, that's the biggest tip I can give you today. If you just treat the person you're trying to raise just like a good friend, it'll probably work, right? I'm just gonna say it. It like in my in my experience, nine out of ten times, if I just treat the person that I like like they're a friend of mine, and I just talk to them like a normal person, like I would normally, dude, it works. It just works. Uh, all right, chat. It's time to move on. What to do? What to do once you once you find someone you like? Okay. You know what not to do? What do we do? All right, give them lots of money or gifts to convince them to date you, okay? Now, uh, this might work on some people. This will work on a lot of people, right? You know, this will this will work on me, for example. If you say, hey, I'll give you $500 to date me every single week, you know what? It'll work, right? And I, I have a little personal anecdote here, right? So the Panky special, right? Yes, that's just a simp and it'll work. If you, if you, Money can solve most problems, okay? And if you want someone to date you, money might solve that, right? You're a gold digger? Of course I am. You think I'd want to date any of you unless you have money? Absolutely fucking not. Uh, act like a normal human being now. So this is kind of going off of, uh, off of, uh, you know, the, the, the do nots. But like, act, act like this. Act like this. Not like this. Act like this. Not like this. This. Not this. Okay, chat, you get me here? All right, all right, chat, all right, chat. Hands off the keyboard, mouse off the thing. All right, chat. One is left, two is right. Which one do we act like? Say it in chat right now, one or two. One is left, two is right. Which one do we act like? Okay, chat. One, okay. One, okay, one, okay, one. Two? No, not two. No, 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 no. We no, we had such a good start. We had such a good start. No, 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 no. Act like two. Act like one. Not two. Do not act like two. No, no. That's we had such a good start. No, do not act like two. Do not act like two. Chat. No. You're supposed to act like one. One. Rizzler. One. Okay. One. One. Okay. Please take a shower. For the love of God, care about your hygiene, please! This needs to be stated so hard! Please take a shower! Please! Just care, just take a shower, okay? Care about your hygiene, brush your teeth, put on deodorant, okay? Cut your hair, make it look nice, you know, get your hair trimmed, don't make it fucking rat's nest, right? Get a haircut. Uh, shave your face. Uh, uh, don't wear clothes that are, like, fucking ugly, right? Try to look presentable. Don't wear a fucking, don't wear, okay. I'm gonna say this, okay? Now, I'm not gonna say who this is, but there is a VTuber. A uh, couple years ago, I went to Cedar Point, right? Uh, over in Ohio, okay? And it just so happens that a VTuber I interacted with at the time uh, lived near Cedar Point, right? So I mentioned that I was going there and he said, oh, I live right next to Cedar Point. Uh, do you do you want me to go with you when you go there? And I said, oh, sure, why not? Uh, not thinking about how bad it was gonna be. Bro, 
I pull up to the park, right? I'm where I'm there for like maybe an hour, right? And they and then he texts me, oh, I'm here. I said, oh, awesome, cool. I start looking for him. I can't find him. He comes up behind me, taps me on the shoulder. I get scared. I look behind me. It's him. He's wearing the baggiest fucking sweatshirt ever. He's okay. You guys know the pajama pants, like the soft pajama pants that you wear in bed. He was wearing those in the park. He was wearing Crocs. He hadn't shaved his beard in like weeks, maybe. His hair was fucking messy. Uh, he d he didn't care about shit like like facial like 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 uh like I'm gonna be honest. He was covered in acne, right? And it's like he didn't he didn't care about uh about his 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 hygiene like and it's like his hair looked greasy and i was like oh my god this is fucking awful and i still remember that and i had to go around the whole park with him following me the whole fucking day uncomfortable as hell because it's like this guy clearly didn't care about his hygiene or the way he presented himself and that is fucking awful and guess what i stopped talking to him after that I'm just gonna say it. I stopped talking to him after that because I was uncomfortable. I was like, dude, you clearly just don't give a shit about yourself, <laughs> right? <laughs> Pay attention to them and act like you care about what they're talking about. Now, this is a DM I had not long ago. I said, League of Legends is my favorite game. I love Kindred, because we are talking about our favorite games. And I said, oh, League of Legends is my favorite game. I love Kindred, right? Look at what they responded. Cool. Have you watched Demon Slayer? That's the best, they, 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 they didn't even care. They didn't even fucking acknowledge what I said. They acknowledged what I said with a cool and then immediately went into what they wanted to talk about. That is, that is how you fucking that is how you get someone to not like you instantly. They will not fucking like you. Even if you, even if you, well, your mistake was saying you like League of Legends. That is true. But like, okay, here's the thing, right? If, if you like someone and you're trying to raise them, even if you don't like, or you don't know a lot about whatever they're talking about, act like you're interested, right? questions right if you don't want it is ask questions who's kindred how, how like it, it, uh what is league of legends like is it fun do you like it ask questions right you want to make them feel like whatever they're talking about is important and of course it, vice versa right but if all you ever want to do is shoot down what the other person says and like never acknowledge what they have to say and you only want to talk about the things that you want to talk about that's bad that that that's unfair to the person you're talking to because they're gonna they they, they're, they, they want to talk about something they find they find fun too right but if but if you're gonna shoot them down like this what how the fuck are how the fuck are you how the fuck are they gonna date you if they can't if if you're just gonna shoot down anything they want to talk about when you immediately make it about yourself Gotta stay here. Okay, moving on. Tip number five. Treat the person like a person and not like an anime waifu, okay? So we've talked about this a little bit before, right? Ba back in the back in the don'ts. Treat them like a person. Don't treat them like, like an anime waifu where they don't have a personality, or I should say they only have one personality type, and that's it. That's all that's all they are. That's all they are. And uh they're just simply a vessel for you to put all of your horniness into. This is an important one, chat. Is this like the third tip about treating them like a person? It's like this, I but it's it's a little bit different here, right? Do not spam them or the whichever whichever one was. It's like tip number four, right? This is just important in general. It needs to be said. It, this needs to be said. Treat them like a person. Not like, not like a, not like some fucking anime waifu where it's like, oh, well, like they don't matter. They only exist for my entertainment and my horniness. Never seen such a sad picture. You guys never seen this picture? I think, I think this is from a Filthy Frank video that like, 
this got spread around on. Make sure it's to stay calm and not reveal that women or men scare you, okay? So I, okay, I'm gonna say this, right? Okay. So I know you guys, okay? I know you guys are scared of social interaction, especially when it comes to someone that you like, okay? But bro brother, I'm telling you, you can't, you, you gotta make sure to stay calm. Okay, now I, I'm going to expose an IRL friend of mine. I love him to death, right? I love him to death so much. He's great. I see him all the time. He's the guy that I go that I go over to his house to uh, to, to go watch anime with, right? Uh, but I have seen him interact with women like at a restaurant. Right? Like, for example, there's a waitress. She's a little pretty, right? And it's like, okay, we have a pretty waitress. She comes to our table. She starts talking to my friend. He's shaking. He's fucking shaking. Like, he is physically fucking, like, like shaking and, and quivering, talking to women. And it's even worse when, it, when, he, when I see him talking to a girl that he actually has an interest in because I've seen it. Dude, his whole body is like quivering from head to fucking toe in fear, right? Because he's fucking scared to talk to women. He's scared to talk to women so much that he physically fucking shakes. Now, not everybody is that, not everybody is as bad as him, right? I love him. Right? I love him, right? But not everybody is as bad as he is, right? But I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people think like this, right? Where it's like they get scared talking to their crushes, right? They keep thinking anything that they're gonna do is gonna get them in trouble. Now, if you're a fucking degenerate piece of shit gooner who has no good qualities about yourself and uh, uh, anything like that, maybe you should be scared, right? Generally, you shouldn't be scared to talk to talk to your crush, right? Just talk to them normally like they're a person chat Crazy. I know talk to them. Don't be scared. You can't be you can't be getting getting all scared like oh Like what what if they don't like this one? They did guys. I'm gonna be honest with you if they don't like you for who you are Brother they're you're never gonna date if they don't like you for the person that you are you're, you're never gonna date because how are you how are you gonna how the fuck are you gonna be able to 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 put on a facade of so of like of like acting like you're cooler than you actually are for the entire marriage what if they do would fall in love with the fact that that they think you're cooler than you actually are you have to act cooler for the entire marriage fake it till you make it i guess but like that sounds fucking awful to me holy shit all right first one chat first one this girl right here chat okay this girl right here she is talking to you about her favorite anime in the world naruto okay chat now how now do you a ask her questions about the anime b stop texting her and go jerk off c tell your favorite tell her your favorite anime is jujutsu kaisen now 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 don't don't don't, sp don't spam the answers in chat no 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 chat Ch -ch chat you're not gonna do it like this do not spam the answers in chat okay i should have mentioned this before we're gonna do a poll okay chat now now chat we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a poll okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna set a poll over here real quick we're gonna do a B or C. Okay, chat? Or wait, poll? Yeah, yeah. All right, chat. We're, we're, I want to see. I want to see. I wanna, let, let's see votes. Come on, chat. Let's see votes. Come on. A, B, or C. Come on, chat. Already got a girl that loves Naruto, and I tell her it's garbage outright. No, no, no. D this is in the context of, like, you just started talking to this girl, right? You just started talking to this girl and like you're trying to you're trying to riz her, right? So like what do you what are you trying to do to riz her to convince her to date you? Okay, chat? We're we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. 19A, four for B, one for one for C. You know, we should have done we should have done these questions before we started stream to see how how uh 
uh, how uh, uh, that how the difference would have worked. But after the class, you know how my re-education would be. I'll, I'm bend her over while she watching her anime. That's that's an automatic failure. But yes, chat, you got it. A was the correct answer. I'm so proud of you, chat. Chat, I'm so proud of you. Holy shit, you guys actually got it right. Oh my, I'm so proud of you as my students. Chat. Chat, I'm so proud of you as my students. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Now, give me a second. A, B, or C. Now, we're gonna move on to the next question here. So, you find this cute girl on Instagram and decide to send her a message. What should you start with? Now we got A, send her a picture of your cock. B, say, hey, I saw your pics and I thought you were gorgeous. Would you like to chat for a bit? Or C, beg her to date you. Now we're gonna now we're gonna open up this poll here. D, I'm gay. D, I'm gay. You cuddle her and what? No, it was chat to correct. She getting more than just a picture? That's crazy, actually. That's 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 crazy. Is it, do you beg her to date you? These answers suck. I refuse to answer. Look, here, here's the thing, right? You just found this girl on Instagram and you're deciding to send her a first message. Right? You're trying to sound cordial. She's getting an entire documentary of my peanuts. <laughs> That's no, no, please. <laughs> Not the peanuts. Does she have a peanuts? If, she, if you want her to in this scenario, then yes. If if you if you want her to have a peanuts in this scenario, then yes. Send her five hundred dollars to date me. Secret, uh, secret correct answer. True. Sixty-two percent. That is just above a uh, passing grade here. Uh, sixteen people though. Yes, B is the correct answer. Chat. I'm so proud of you guys. Okay, now we're gonna start a new poll here real quick. Are we at? Oh shit. Ah! Wait, hold on. Wait, oh, wait, hold on. I fucking closed everything, question mark? I clicked a button and everything closed. What the fuck? There we go. Sorry about that. Double panky, scuffer. Shut up, shut up. No, 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 shut up, shut up. It's not like that, it's not like that. Hold on. He's duplicating now. Nah. Odd. Uh, new poll. A, B, C. All right, let me load up the last question. This is the last question, chat. You guys are so close to passing. I'll be so proud of you if you guys actually manage to pass, please. I want to be a proud teacher. View slash. All right, there we go. All right, chat. All right. Now, you wake up chat okay you wake up you decide to text this girl you've been texting for a week now how do you start now is it a send her multiple paragraph message about how much you love her and how glad you are you found her say hey every five minutes until she responds c ask her how her morning went and what she's up to right now now chat how's this go D, 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 I'm gay. Stop. If in this example you want her to have a cock, she has a cock. I want to fill a man up. That's crazy. That's insane, actually. I don't know where to put chat. Chat, we're going to put you like right here for now. Give her the D. That's insane. Chat, I'm so proud of you. Oh, I could never be happier. Where's the running at her full sprint at night option? Unfortunately, uh, I could not account for every scenario uh, chat would do in, in here. I just had to account for the ones that were most likely to happen. You know? Oopsie. Damn, some bottoms in chat for real. If only the girl was Choso. Oh, man. I could have done all my waifus. The 85%, that is a passing grade. And you guys got three out of three correct. I'm so proud of you. Chat!
I'm so proud of you. You actually managed to pass the class. Oh my God. Chat, how do you feel? Chat, how do you feel? Oh my God. Chat, oh my God. How do you, holy shit, chat. Oh my God, chat. Holy shit. Oh my God, chat actually passed. I'm so fucking proud of you guys. You actually managed to pass the class? Oh my God, dude. I actually, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I didn't expect you guys to pass uh, the class. So I actually need to get the diplomas ready real quick. Wait, hold on. A few moments later. Riz University, this certifies that chat has graduated and completed all of the requirements for the diploma of Riz. Chat. <laughs> Be happy. Oh my God. I'm so proud of you guys. I never expected any of you guys to actually pass this fucking course. Holy shit. I never expected you guys to do this. I'm so proud of you. Yippee. 